Hey guys, welcome to another video on Science Station. So, this is my second video on this channel. In this video, I will be telling you how does a dry cell works. So, the first dry cell was invented in 1880s by a German scientist called Karl Gassner and nowadays it is very useful because it is used in various devices such as flashlights. It is called dry cell because it does not contain any liquid components and that is why it is very durable because its inner components do not spill out. So this is a dry cell. The inside of the dry cell looks like this. On the top of the dry cell, there is a small cap made up of brass and the dry cell container is made up of zinc. Inside there is a small graphite rod which is surrounded by a paste of MnO2 and carbon and outside there is a paste of NH4Cl and ZnCl2. The reactions involved in a dry cell are of two types oxidation reaction and reduction reaction. The oxidation reaction takes place at anode. The zinc being a donor gets converted to Zn2 plus and donates two electrons. The re reduction reaction takes place at cathode. There are two reduction reactions. First is twice NH4 plus plus twice electrons gives twice NH3 and hydrogen gas. The hydrogen gas reacts with twice MnO2 to give Mn2O3 and water. The overall reduction reaction can be obtained by adding the two reduction reactions. So the overall reduction reaction is this. So to get the net cell reaction what we do is we add the oxidation reaction and the reduction reaction and this gives us the net cell reaction for the dry cell. So the oxidation reaction is this and the reduction reaction is this. So the overall reaction becomes now the two electrons are on the opposite sides of the two reaction so they, they get cancelled and the net cell reaction is this so this is how a dry cell works it generates 1.5 volts hope you liked the video and subscribe for more such videos